is the left hand path evil? First you have to ask, what is evil? And does it really exist? Is it subjective? For example, what's evil to the antelope is a blessing to the lion. In August of 1945, the United States dropped a couple of atom bombs on Japan. Many thousands were killed, which is not a good thing. But it ended World War II, which is a good thing. In the past, evil was thought to come in three varieties, natural, metaphysical, and moral. And an inquiry into evil was most likely scrutinized through the lens of religion, where they attempted to reconcile a good and omnipotent deity with evil in the world. This brings up a question to my Christian friends. If an all-powerful, all-knowing, loving God exists, then how can evil exist? If you could stop a molester, one that is attempted to attack a child you love, wouldn't you? For some reason, Yahweh doesn't. So you have to decide, my fundamentalist viewers, if there are any. Either God doesn't exist, or evil doesn't exist, or neither exists. Think about it, but I digress. The left hand path is evil in the eyes of some because it falls outside the established religious and or social moral norms. It breaks the rules as it ventures into those shadowy places where few dare to tread. It is an aspect of darkness, of the shadow self, utilized for our personal exaltation. 3,000 years ago, Zoroaster pulled the shadow out of the god, an idea that Abraham has made famous. What we're attempting to do is return the shadow to the god, the god in us all. But some may ask, why are you people in the past so creepy? What's the point? For me, it's who I am. I am by nature a dark creature. And let's face it, in nature, dark creatures are beneficial. But most don't understand them, though. But if you were to go down the list of the creatures that send shivers down one's spine, you'll discover that they are truly heroes in nature's great cycle. Bats eat disease-carrying mosquitoes. Snakes devour rodents. Spiders consume flies. Their existence is beneficial to mankind even though they don't give a fuck about you. So, in conclusion, is the left-hand path evil? Of course it is. Why? Because most people don't understand it. To them, it's strange, mysterious, and confusing. And people don't like to be confused. Anton LaVey summed it up best when he wrote, Definition of good and evil. Good is what you like. Evil is what you don't like.